Hello everyone, welcome back to this Microsoft Excel tutorial journey with me on my Knowledge Factor YouTube channel. This is the 54th session in this journey and now another option that we have inside of our print setting is the margins. If I go back to the file, print, uh, here is my first page, nice big spreadsheet. We have bumped up the scaling looking pretty pretty readable. Uh, pretty legible with the size of the text here, but uh, we are eating up quite a bit of space inside of these margins that arrows are not quite there yet But I'm going to kind of mimic that side over there. It's it's about right there uh, We got a little bit more space that we could go But uh, still we are eating up quite a bit of space on the left and the right as well as the top and the bottom There's a margin there as well I want to be careful of adjusting those two much because you also have got headers and footers that you can put into those top and bottom margins as well but um, I want to change the left and right for sure so into my print settings I'm going to go down into the page setup I'm going to go to the margin tab and here we can adjust how much the margins is taken up in that page whether we want to increase it or we want to decrease it now for mine i want to try to make that spreadsheet and chart and smart art as big and bold as possible so take up that page so i'm actually going to go down to like a quarter of an edge um, 0.25 then we don't want to go down too narrow on the margins right so some desktop printers like uh, what I have set next to my computer right here really can't print they struggle the print to the edge of the page or at least close to the edge of that page just cuts it off right some some higher end printers or you take it to be professionally printed uh, you can get it much much better but uh, I'm going to narrow it down to quarter of an edge on the left and the right and then I'll hit ok and you see it shifted over that margin got smaller there right and uh, see that smart art moved over my chart actually moved over as well even I centered it try to center on that page but now I can go back into the page setup and on the page tab I have this adjust to so I'm going to bump this up and say I can go probably 150 I hit ok and I think that arrow got up on that I, I could shrink that arrow or I'm just going to adjust the scaling again to I think 145 this arrow came up here so I'll again go to the page setup and let's say I try to do it for 140 I think that get on three pages right that's looking pretty good now so yeah all right so the margins right you you want in there you want to kind of a buffer a border on that page you don't want to print too close to the page but uh, we don't need almost three quarters of an inch from the left and right we can narrow that down okay so keep that in mind put it in the back of your head you got margins that you can you know work with as well and then how does that affect in combination with scaling and orientation of the page as well so try this out go to the file print get in the page setup go to the margins and uh, try messing around with the margins and then we'll meet up in the next session thanks for watching this tutorial and as i always say if you really liked it and enjoying this journey then please do like share, and subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get the latest content update on this channel all right then we'll meet up in the next session in case you have any questions any concerns then do let me know in the comment section of the video till the time goodbye and take care